In this video, I'm going to create an AI chatbot for a property management company in just 10 minutes. This chatbot is not only something that you could create for your own business, but this is something you could sell to businesses for thousands of dollars and provide real life value. So with that being said, if you are looking to dive into the world of AI and how it could help you and your business or how you could profit off it and sell these solutions to other businesses, make sure to like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay up to date with all these new different AI kind of technologies that are coming out. Without further ado, let's dive right into this tutorial on how you can build out this AI chatbot in under 10 minutes. So for the sake of this video, we're going to be using Chatling AI for our chatbot builder. It's a really easy platform to use. It's a no code platform, kind of like these different other platforms that you've seen on these YouTube videos, but it's a very easy way to train your data, customize it, view analytics, um, generate leads, all this stuff you could do inside of Chatling. So let's dive right into this. First of all, you're going to need to sign up with an account. As you see here, I actually built out my first bot. So I'm going to make this and go step by step through all these to show you how you could set this up in this video. So first of all, make sure you are in your chatting account. We're going to come to my chatbots, click create chatbot. For this, we're going to click start from scratch. Let's call this bend create chatbot. So you can see we have this dashboard here. We want to come straight into the builder. So first of all, we're going to come over here, click a block. A block is the part of the conversation. So we're going to put in text. So we're going to be prompted with this text that we're going to say. And then underneath that, we're going to then um, add a form. Connect this to the start here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say, we're gonna put this text here. So hey there, this is Melissa with Ben Property Management. Before we get started, what is your name and email? So now we're gonna have this form to capture this information so that way we have them as a new lead. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna label this as name. We're gonna add text for the type and then we're gonna come down and then say contact name. Add another field. We're gonna call this email. Type, this is gonna be email and then we're gonna store this as contact email. So then we use these custom variables fields so we're able to use it in the conversation. From there, we actually want to go ahead and create a new text block for here, and then we're gonna add a yes or no. So right here, we're gonna click a button and then connect these, add a text. So thanks contact name, are you interested in renting one of our properties? So now we just need to do a simple yes or no for them to click. And then now based on their yes answer, we're gonna send them down a different pathway and then the same for no. So let's do that now. So if you see here, I actually then went ahead and made another block. So if this, if the answer to this is no, what other questions do you have for me? That's how the user is gonna be prompted with. Now, if the answer is yes, we need to send them down a different pathway. So we're gonna come here and we're going to click text. Um, go ahead, I'm gonna copy paste this. So perfect, what type of property are you looking for? Can you specify the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, budget, square foot, etc.? So then once we get this information, we're then able to recommend them certain properties that we have within our property management company. So connect this yes to here. So then it's sent down this pathway and then go ahead and save that. So now what we need to do is we need to add another block and it's gonna be capture response. So we're gonna actually capture the response of this so add this here and then we want to add this as a variable let's call this property question and add that as a variable so then we could then use this and query this into our ai response so next what we're going to do is we're going to add our ai step inside of this so we're going to have an ai response so it's going to capture this text so then we need to go ahead and add our instructions for our ai so what we do is we will just add an instruction here and as you can see, I actually have some instructions here. I'm just gonna copy and paste all of these and add them so your job is to assist the user in finding a property based on their needs. You can take a look at all these different instructions I'm gonna add here, but let me do that now. Great, so now that we added all of those, we have our AI configured how we need to. So the next thing we need to do, we need to actually go to our AI, we need to add a knowledge base. So for this use case, all we're gonna do is we're going to add the URL of our, our website. So here's our property management website with all these different property listings and information. So come here, let's go ahead and click add this. Now it's gonna scrape this whole entire page and it's gonna crawl the website to get these different URLs. So if you see now, we scraped over 988 different URLs on the website. So all we need to do is click submit here and it'll now train the AI on all this information. So, so next thing we need to do here is we need to actually come to our response and we need to click AI model instead of knowledge base. And we're gonna use this prompt here. So if you want to read through this, you can. I'm gonna add this to my chat link kind of notes here inside of this document for you to copy and paste that. So one more thing I need to do on this block here is we need to come in, we need to go to variables and we need to enable this system variable here called conversation content. So I already did this, but come down to the black button, import system variables. It's going to say conversation content, select this and then import it. And then go ahead, save that, come back to this prompt here. And then we're going to want to import this variable. So 
just let's see conversation content so now it can pull this um, the content in the context from this conversation and use it in the AI response. Now that we did that, we need to then come to another block and we need to then go ahead and add a variable condition here. So let's go ahead and connect this. And what we're gonna do is we're first going to say, if speak with manager. So we need to then create a custom variable here. So if speak with manager analysis equals yes. So if this AI here determines that it wants to speak with the manager, then it does this step. So we'll then send this down a different path. Let's go ahead, let's add another, whoops. So if, same thing, we're gonna come down, if speak with manager analysis equals, but this time, no, then it gets sent down that path. And we will do one more here. So if speak with manager analysis, select equals, uh, and then we're gonna call this not underscore applicable then it does that. So now that we have these set up, we need to then come and then add our different blocks. So one more block we're gonna add here is we're going to add book a conversation or book a meeting. So if they wanna speak with the manager, we're gonna then send them to book a meeting with our manager. So we're gonna do that via cal.com, which I'll go over. And then if this equals no, we're then gonna to come to a block. It's gonna be AI response. And then the query, we're going to click knowledge base, and then we're just going to go to property question. So then it'll just continue to answer their question. So boom, add all these, connect those there, and then let's move on. So we are almost done here. What we need to do now is we need to then connect this block here, which is the property question AI response. And then we're gonna send this back to capture text. So that way after it asks this question, it then captures the text because we need to then go in this loop where it captures information and then responds. So from there we do that. And then this, we're going to then come and we need to come inside of our cal.com. So come and copy a link to an event. Basically come in here, add the booking link, all of that sort of stuff. That should be good to go. So now it will book directly to that and it'll pull that information as for the time slots we have available based on our calendar. So then let's add another block. Let's just make this one real simple. It's just gonna be, Great, so then they are sent this kind of final message. So your meeting with property manager has been scheduled, contact name, have a great day. So there we go, that is all done and let's move on and make sure everything's good to go. So now we need to backtrack a bit and come back to the beginning of the conversation. So if they aren't looking to rent one of our properties, they need to go down a different conversation path. So what other questions do you have for me is what the text prompt is. So what we wanna do is we want to add another block, capture response, and then we are then going to do AI response. We're gonna add a custom variable just called question. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this here so that way it'll just keep going on this loop and keep responding or keep answering these questions. Now the final step we need to do is come down to our book event block here. And if for whatever reason this fails, we then want to add a message here and then basically say, here we go. Sorry, there was an issue booking the call. Please try again. And then what it'll do, we will then come back here and it'll send them back to this booking kind of uh, action here. So now that we've actually built out our AI chap off our property management company, next we need to deploy this. So what we're gonna do is click save, make sure to click publish, and then come back to our integrations here go to website widget, and we're gonna want this floating chat chat widget here. So it's gonna be at the base of our website. So copy that code, come over to our website builder. I already built out the website. Let's go ahead and add this to the footer code. There we go. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure to save that. And then now let's go to our website and then check this thing out. So now we're previewing this website. As you can see here, the chat bot, let's actually do a new chat here. So it's gonna come up with this form here, we're gonna have to fill out our name and our email. This is a lead capture part. We don't necessarily need this, but um, we did for the sake of this chatbot. Um, so now that information's captured, new lead. So thanks Brock, are you interested in renting one of our properties? Click yes. Perfect, what type of property are you looking for? You could specify the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, budget, square feet, etc. Let's say two bedroom with a budget of $3,000 would like more than 800 square feet. Now it's gonna look through all of our options here via the knowledge base and then spit out an answer. Perfect, so looks like they actually have a um, property here. Let's go ahead and ask for more details.
cool. So it even tells us all the features and amount of days on the market, lot size, all that sort of stuff. So now it asks, would you like to speak with our property manager to book a meeting? Let's just say yes, please. And now we're gonna be prompted with this to actually book an appointment um, via the cal.com meeting. So let's go ahead, do it for tomorrow. Let's do it for 10 a.m. Meet with manager of property, confirm this. Boom, so now the call has been booked. All that automations will be set up from our cal.com to then send emails to this lead actually to remind them. So all this is now automated with a chatbot. We use Chatlink to do this. Now it is on our website. So this is something you can do for yourself very quickly and simply. So there we have it. Now we have actually built out an AI chatbot and added it to a property management company's website in order to capture leads and then also to recommend certain properties based on their specifics of what they're looking for. So this could save businesses a bunch of time. This could save your business a bunch of time. If you guys saw value in this video, please leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content like this. If you guys want to sign up and use Chatling, which is the chatbot builder I built this out on, there is a link below in the description to sign up and use them. With that being said, guys, make sure to subscribe to get more AI content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.